What the fuck's going on, bro? Uh, Void Basement. Still in the old set. I know, I know, people. Listen, we got our money up. We Listen, bro, Christmas the, was expensive, bitch. The new set is on the fucking way. Shit is happening. All right, mind your horses. We... We don't even need a set because right now we're we using some motherfucking fiber optic connection, sending beams through the space, through the through the fucking galaxy, all the way over into motherfucking whoa. Where 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 are you from? Wait, what's your name? Mexico. <laughs> Introduce yourself. What's up? My name isn't Mexico. Um, my name's Mexico. What's up, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cool to be on the voice. Shout out, Big Man. Shout out, Ruth. You know, we out here. Move on this bitch. Yeah, it's been a fucking, it's been a vibe to get here. Uh, why don't we just start with, you know, our, our, colla- our, our you know, our collaborative efforts. Well, more of uh, your efforts and just like right, killing an idea. Everybody. You were in Basement Fest 3, boring as fuck. If so. you didn't go to Basement Fest 3, you suck. And for one, <laughs> this is always amazing. From this legendary oh, legend. Shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. See, them shit. International that shit's been beat up. That shit's been beat up. That shit's been, been on adventures. Been to New York many a time. <laughs> that bag been on. My cat was lit on mine. Yeah. But yeah. Love that bag like though. Did that in case you didn't know. That's, That's some true. lore to set the precedent. Thank you. Like, thank you. What would you say your dominant, you know, art style is right now? Because you do it kind of all. I mean, you do music. You do, you know, design. Obviously, drawings. It's it's incredible. Like, what would you say your dominant field is right now, though? Um, I don't know. I don't really, like, try to, like, I don't know, pin it down too hard. I just kind of do things. That's um, vibe right now, too. Like, we don't even give a fuck. Like, we just, we, like, we yeah. to leave the cooking show. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, yeah, I don't know yeah. what's going to be next week. Maybe I'll do a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament or something. Who knows, bro? You can never tell with me. That is, that's 100%. So, that's so real. I would tune into that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like like pinning myself down to like I have to. I don't know. Be like, oh, more, I'm more of a painter than a musician. Or I don't know. Right now, I'm trying to make some furniture. I found like a bed in the garbage, and I like just took it, and it's like made out of wood, and I disassembled it. I feel like I can make a table out of it and a few canvases to like put paint and stuff on, and like maybe make like some like you know TikTok video where it's like, oh, I made a table. I don't know. And then you can put your little drawings all over it, you know what I'm saying? Edit them in. Perfect. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I feel like as an artist, you have, like, this pressure to, like, uh, sell yourself a certain type of way. Like, oh, you know, I'm, um, like, I got to be, like, really esoteric and just hard, like, polarizing. I don't know. And I don't know. Everyone's going to be, like. Sometimes you feel like you got to be clickbait almost. It's, like, kind of. Yeah. I, I, I had that same vibe towards the end of 2022. And then I just eventually cracked, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to speed run to get shit done. Like, I'm just going to work on my own pace. I'm just going to do my own vibe. And, you know, I have goals now, you know. And I guess I, I'll rephrase the question. Maybe not what art do you put yourself in, but what goals do you have going into 2023? Because it is a new year. How is the new year going, by the way, as well? Um, It's been pretty crazy. It's been pretty wild. It um, a fire start of the year. I honestly am looking forward to the rest, like, 100%, yeah real real i don't know i've been making a lot of art collaborating with a lot of like artists here um in like the local art scene in mexico i've been finding a lot of people that really get it um i don't know the sort of same type of visions that i'd be like liking and stuff and um, i don't know just kind of making more of that i want to release music videos that's something i really want to do i was literally gonna ask that because i'm like I, I was, I like, you know, I didn't actually really take you as much of a musician. I didn't actually go through your catalog till like, last week, and I was blown away. I'm like, damn, I probably should have found out about you through your music, but I always had found out about you from, like, your designs and your, like, you know, you do the <laughs> thing where you, you know, draw on literally any piece of media ever, and I just, I love shit like that, so, you know, I got kind of yeah. that way in a way, but it's good to see what kind of collabs have you done. Yo, shout out some, shout out some of your homies, bro. Like, come on, we on the basement, baby. Man, I've collaborated with a lot of people. Right now, off the top of my head, recent collaborations has been Colin Perino. Um, goes by Randy on SoundCloud. Makes like super just 
like cool, consistent. It's just constantly making um like uh plug plug in B beats. We love very wavy. Well I love plug in B B. Plug and B is gonna be the new thing. I'm calling it now. Oh, it's such a, such a vibe. Very very like fun. It's it's Call definitely it? like kind of like because I, I feel hyper pop's low key been in a decline lately. Low key like it's kind of it's kind of staled out. Like all every it's kind of branching off into new you know new stuff. The same way SoundCloud rap kind of branched off into you know new stuff. And I, and I'm thinking it's gonna be yeah. plug and B and like. <laughs> that kind of break in sound where it's like you know more melodic like soul for sure i feel like what made hyper pop so cool at the start was that it was like different ideas wow these ideas are like very original and then it became like a formula and then it's like well these ideas aren't original that's, anymore yeah, that's, just, like, that's usually just trying to like you know is what i see happening to any genre um I just sound like glaive or something <laughs> um i don't know at the same time <laughs> Uh, imagine, I like these, like a bunch of aesthetics, like little glitchy stuff, or I like to take bits and pieces of all of that scene and put into different music, or like I don't know. Yeah, just... I think hip hop was always meant yeah, to evolve. Anyway. Under Brazilian funk, that shit slap. I don't know what Brazilians have figured out, but they have figured something out in music. Nah, sometimes like, they really do. Very, very good. Huh? Sometimes it really do be a, a different like country that just puts me onto a genre in general, like. Like for drill, like I was into drill before it was really popping in America, purely from the UK. Like it was honestly insane. Like I heard all that OG Skepta, all that OG shit. Like shout out, out Poozy for that one. You know what I'm saying? He put me on early. Uh, and you know, I just got into drill that way. And then once it started popping off in like America, I mean, it was always kind of a thing in like Chicago, but and like New York has a drill scene as well. Like, but yeah, New York's yeah. drill scene didn't pop off until like. Well, yeah probably like four or five years ago maybe even six but wow all right so you you know you got your goals you got your things what what are some of your inspirations i guess for whether it be your art or your music like what are some uh, of your go-to's with the drill scene to like, to say that uh i also feel i got in the drill just because people on soundcloud were like doing remixes and they would like remix a drill beat with like drum and bass or something oh, I mean, a yeah drill. i've heard some stuff like that um, I feel like that was a pipeline. That was a pipeline for sure. <laughs> also, um, what's the other thing? Also, oh, do you know Ashback Baby? He's like underground. Ashback Baby. I think I've seen a couple things you've reposted. Hundred percent. Probably. Heard yeah, this, but, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I be listening to too much music. Like names in music to me is like crazy. Really? Like, I wonder how Nistopia keeps up with all this shit. Like the amount of like or even Hive those Hive Mind guys like. Bro, the amount of artists you see in a day, like, holy crap. Like, I just don't have that. You know, I smoke too much of that good good to have a brainstem to even do something like that. Like, oh, my God. But, no, I definitely, I feel like I've heard of the uh, of the legend that you speak of. You, know, shit, you got a hell of friends, by the way. You always collab with somebody. I, I've noticed that. Like, you've stayed pretty consistent the last, like, two years. So, I guess, you know, back to the uh, I question at hand, though. What are some of your main inspirations? Like, what is, like, you wake up, like, what's your playlist like? <clears throat> um i don't know recently it's been like crazy shit i don't know i've been listening to like cumbias and also like psychedelic jazz but also just kind of like a bunch of break core and just like stuff i find on tiktok that i'm like yo this shit slap yeah um, i've always been so, on t tiktok putting me on like tiktok be putting me on to so much like useless pop music that i never thought i would like but i end up liking yeah or, like twitter just like the algorithm um yeah i don't i'm very like just like short attention span so i'll just run the shit out of a song and then just kind of like want to move on yeah. and i've been doing a thing lately that i haven't done in a long time where i would just listen to one song on a loop for like 10 hours straight and it just feels so good sometimes I felt like that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of what your songs did for me. Like, I would burn through, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it really is such a vibe. And uh, as like, a kid, I used to, like, go to sing the songs on loop. I love doing that, too. Yeah, I really do kill my, my, my favorite songs, though. It, it, sometimes I kind of hate myself for it. I'm like, why did I burn this one in the car all week? Now I hate it and I don't want to listen to it for a Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who got yeah, you or when, when you like, made one an alarm and you just wake up and then like it's slow because you know you that song. That song. You're hating it you're just like this sucks who got you started with your music taste by the way like who got you kind of like to be like this um, like, like what hmm. what got you into the into the arts was it do you attribute it to just, I've like, always loved discovery and like, 
yeah like hip-hop i think just like a bunch of people seeing not only like just listening to it like growing up a bunch but um like 2016 just like listening to all that soundcloud you know people I and like, feel like that shit. hanging out with friends and living like a similar lifestyle you know like i feel like in that time everyone was fucking just doing stupid shit we were all on xanax for no yeah <laughs> Anyways, yeah, why did I pop Xanax in 2016? Like, I'll never, yeah, but you really felt like you went some through something with those artists and got to see like the power of the internet. And also, like, I was always like uploading memes. Like, as a 14 year old, I was telling big meme pages on Facebook that I was 18 so I could be an admin on there and post memes. And they were like horrible memes. I didn't know how to make good memes at that time, but it was like always something I was trying to do um and uh really yeah at some point sure i had some go up and i was like you know i could maybe you know do, you know figure some stuff out because you know, then you're just chilling or something and your brain be making music um but I'm, I'm not really like, mean people i feel like are like some of the more creative yeah. types these days because like you have to be like short attention span like you say like you i can see probably why that carries over into your music because you only a meme only ever lasts. Like I give a me a good meme probably lasts three weeks at the most, and that's like yeah. a banger. That's like faded in a hoe level, like like Yodi Gang type level. Like that's gonna last like yeah. three months, but that's like a peak meme. But most memes is like that's a long term. Like I'm trying to think of what was last week's meme. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Probably the uh... I think just kind of like I think be be a presence you know you're just like i'm here you know sometimes like i'm not like fully just like artist and musician but i'm also just like human that just is like shit posting and then now and then it's like if you care for my music like sure you know i'm gonna upload it but i mean also i don't know i, I don't want to like fully uh have to like try on rely that like this shit has to happen i feel like it will just because i really like right now, all of my unreleased stuff is like cool stuff what but you, I don't know. You want to blow up and be like a freaking international superstar, or you just want to, you know, make some people enjoy enjoy like art for a minute. That's kind of my deal. Like, I don't need people knowing where I live at all times. People like stalking me and shit. Like, I just want to go to a show and like motherfuckers are like, "Damn, bro, you put on a good show." Like, or "Damn, bro, like this is I found out about this show because you reposted it." Type shit. Like, that's kind of what I do it for, you know. Or like, "Damn, bro, you made me laugh," but it's like. What what are your goal? Like, what's your ultimate thing? Like, you want to pop off? Like, you really trying to be in the big leagues, bro? Like, um, I don't know. I want to make like meaningful art pieces that I could look at, and I'm like, wow, that shit was like, I don't know. Not only like representing like what locally here the world that I've like, I don't know, grown up in and seen and shit. Like, put this specific area of Mexico that I'm living in on the map, just like in the sense of just sharing the vibe. Not even like, oh, you guys got to learn about us. No. But just kind of like, you know, show a bit of, you know, just the kind of stuff that we do or just share the vibe literally yeah, of what it's like living dude, here. Dude, like I'm in, completely invested in where you're at. Like I definitely remember when we were DMing way back. If I ever pull up to Mexico, I'm I'm, I'm staying, bro. I want to go to your spot because you show me some <laughs> cool no, fucking rocks. Huh? I'm a fire tour guide. I know, like, places, you know? Listen, you come to the East Coast, I got you, yo. I'm going to make you, like, 20 pounds heavy. We can do a little 100%. Train. I'm going to show you somebody's <laughs> grandma, and they're going to freaking get you yo, thickened, bro. You're going you're gonna to be interested. I will, like, I will take you on that. On God. On God, actually. Um, I have um, this kind of weird, quirky question. Do you draw to your own music? Because I feel like your music would be so fun to draw what you draw, like, if I was you, I feel like it's weird to listen to your own music. They're like, I'd never do that. Cause I'm, I always am like, I could change. I always feel like I, I want to change it whenever I listen to my music, but um, just curious. I, mean, I, don't know, I don't like listening to my music when I just made it, when I just, just made it. Maybe it's just to like try to tweak stuff, but then I like letting like months pass until it's like, I've already smoked so much and I forgot like what's happened in the past few months and I can look like freshly like oh i don't remember making that you know that's cool nah, I, um and I, I, then, then you really get to know oh, it's either cool or it's trash you know and it's like okay that's sobering you know like okay um i, I love that moment do you draw though um, do you bust out the pen like what is like I, I'm yeah, curious. I'm like what do you i, I draw this get into music. your mojo like what's like getting into your mo mood for that like do you like kind of like you know take a second grab your supplies like how does it how does it begin like how do you get that you know from pen to paper i guess 
um it started it never like i don't know when it got like to the point where it was like somewhat more serious because i mean i've always just kind of doodled and drawn and shared stuff online um but recently i've been hanging out with friends and uh i don't know we would just have like moments where it was like smoke sessions and we just realized that like just you know chilling hanging out but also drawing is just very fun we painted with our um, homies recently. It was so much fun. I, I actually want to do that again. It was so chill. Yeah, wine night. It was fucking nice. Yeah, we had some wine. You know what I'm saying? Busted out. Big for real. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something that's just kind of like you get in this like just fun, like playful, like state where it doesn't really matter. You know, you're just like finding sense and just nothing. And we started like doing art on business cards. And I, know. Uh, I love this whole saga. Let me show. Let me show everybody on this. On this. Uh, on the, if you're still watching, by the way, you're a fucking legend. Click the links in the fucking descript. You know what I'm saying? Hire this person to do some work. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the mm. collabs should be never ending. Ayo, ayo. Also, don't yeah. drop a follow on me. Drop a follow on this person. Come on. Shout out the viewers from the future. I feel like there'll be viewers in the future. I'm trying to develop, like, you know. No, that's what yeah, I love about it. Uh, just trying to be loud and like these yeah. things. I love the time capsule aspect of my podcast. Like, oh God. people have literally blown up from this. It's like insane to see. Like, and they look so young in their OG void basement. Is because we've been doing this for three years at this point. Like, oh, look at this rat, bro. That's tough. Sick as fuck. Yeah, I was the recent one. Yeah, yeah. Sick as fuck. So, was, would you ever be down to do a tattoo commission if I asked you to draw a tattoo? <laughs> Yo, yeah, I would oh, never get some sure. mold for a tattoo. I know some people like aren't comfortable with that, and I respect that entirely because it's like a scary. Yo, thing this to one's think about. got the Basquiat yeah. with a little bit of trippy, trippy. Dope. I like doing commissions more so when like my client knows sort of what they want. Yeah. Like when it's just very. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like it when they're like, oh, I have this idea in my head and do it. And I, I feel like I really get that vibe down good. All right. What's, let All right. me ask you this. Yeah. What is like the weirdest thing you would draw something on? Because obviously you're not, you're not scared of bodies. I mean, what's like something that is like you would draw on it, but like you probably, it's like crazy. You know, you wouldn't just like, you couldn't, you couldn't, you, re, you wouldn't really like display it, I guess. You know, would you draw on anything crazy? Draw on something? Yeah, like the same way you draw on a business card. Like, would you would you sneak like if you had the opportunity, would you sneak into like the uh, you know Smithsonian and fucking draw on the de Declaration of Independence some crazy shit? Like, yeah, I feel like that shit's cool. Um, so, so it is yeah, kind I feel of like a thrill. Just, any sort of just kind of just I like putting stickers up for the same reason. Just kind I of like I love you know. sticker bombs. We've got to do one. I I've yeah, been wanting to do I one for so long. I love walking around idea. sticker bombing is like so fun because you're just walking around more of a purpose now. It's like a side quest, you know. It's like oh, I gotta That's put true. stickers up. Where there's stickers. stickers on twenty locations. <laughs> Facts, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. Then you're walking around in the future and you're like, ah, look, oh, I did that. It's like, kind cool. of like I, I kind of see the I see like your vision because it's like you know sticker bombs are like the world's memes in a way it's it's like memes you know but it's like you're posting it on earth like it's kind of sick i mean it's the internet. yeah exactly i kind of it, it, vibe, so yeah. true. this has been it a is very podcast, but it's really kind of grounded me as to what kind of an artist you are because i mean I, like i said before this i'll be honest y'all i didn't even know what you look like what you sound like i just only knew the art was real and i'm like yeah i, I gotta get this person like that it's, it's been fucking lit yo but uh, let me art ask is you this. Art is like yeah. sometimes you'll be making something, and at the end of it, you realize like what it meant, or that like your subconscious was doing stuff, and like I don't know, it's just weird. Um, I really like sometimes gathering stuff from it afterwards, or oh, like I, I don't know, just part of the process. Decisions. It's just real cool. Sometimes I just like to reflect more on my artistic decisions rather than the art itself. I'm like, what led me to do this dumb shit? Like, with some of our TikToks, I'm like, bro, this was literally, I was tripping, but this is so good. Like, it captures my vibes at that time. Like, it's like it's like the ultimate time capsule for sure. But let me ask you Big this. Dream Uploading is important. <laughs> what Dream blunt rotation. We gotta Come start on. asking this more often, bro. This is an amazing question. I know, bro. Um, yeah, I would want to smoke with Maddox. I need... Yeah. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah, I think I was creating a nightmare blood rotation in my head on accident, you know? Oh, I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, 
like first thought that appeared in my head was Mr. Beast. I was like, I love this <laughs> kid. Dude, oh, Mr. God. Beast like God. scares me, oh, man. Like he really is real life Jesus. Like I think he would start crying if he. Started. Like if there was ever a depiction of yeah. Jesus, it would be Mr. Beast. You know what I'm saying? Like that man comes yeah, up yeah. and no, I'm Trying to watch Mr. Beast green out. That's just one of my life goals. You know, just watch Jimmy just be like, oh. just, he's just so like, oh like, shit. You know, be like hold up. Yeah. Hundred thousand. <laughs> just gonna hit you. <laughs> he's like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> You get a Mr. Beast branch. Let's go get some burgers, dog. Like, he's going to be fucking faded in the hoe and only want to eat Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> I want to take... Have you tasted Mr. Beast burger? Hell no, dude. I heard oh, balls. Whoa, we're getting warped. <laughs> I will... Oh, okay. I was about to be in uh, Unisync with you. I was about to turn my webcam like this for the one time. Yeah, I need mean, everything. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I've also heard it's just kind of like just smashed stuff. I like the, I like a good smashed burger, to be real, yeah, but... Smashed good. I'm trying to, yeah, you know I what I'm saying? I, I have a horrible eating habits. I'm pr- honestly trying to just avoid fast food at this point. It's so toxic. Like, I eat that shit way too much in my life, bro. Like, it's so apparent over here. Like, because if you're on the move, it's just like, you know, I, I'd rather cook now, you know what I'm saying? But... The best fast, my personal fast food place, we got Wawa over here, mid, you know what I'm saying? Checkers is where it's at for me, you know what I'm saying? Would you even consider Wawa fast food? Yeah, it's oh, it's jelly. What about Great you? taste. Convenience store. <clears throat> um, when I was living in the States, that was also the shit that was bugging me, because it was like, damn, I can't find light. Like, it's all just like fast food chains, you know, it's just all chains. Yeah, Dude, and- yeah, you, you can definitely probably have a, uh, like a perspective on that, because like, Bro, we be eating fat. Like, it's a true thing. Like, Americans be fat as fuck. Like, we got fast food everywhere. Like, I mean, obviously, I don't, hate on, anybody I don't hate on anybody who's big. I'm big as fuck. I'm just saying in my, like, compared to when I traveled, it's like, dude, we do it different out here. Like, we don't got no, like, produce, like, just ready to go. Like, everywhere else, there's, like, fruit carts and, like, you know what I'm saying? There's fruit carts in the cities, but not in, like, where most people live in the States. Like, you know? It's more like glitter. In part, I feel like the like, external world is like hate hates on Americans for that because they're envious. I, I watched the video of like a fry festival and they had like fried butter and all that horrible shit. And I was like, damn, okay. bro, that looks awesome. Like, I'm trying to go there. You know, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, the, sometimes, it, you know? sometimes for me, it actually like I like I am a fat dude at heart for sure. Like, even if I ever do get like skinny as hell, I'm still going to eat some crazy shit because I love like heart attack burger and shit like that. Like, I think that's a funny-ass concept, but sometimes these people over here take it crazy. Like, fried Oreos are so delicious. But like, every time I eat them, I'm like, why am I doing this to my fucking glucose system in my yeah. body right now? <laughs> like, yeah, it's one of those yeah. things, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Fried pickles are one of my favorite <laughs> foods, but every time I eat them, I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Like, oh, my you God. You got taste. You got taste. Fried you pickles are the shit. Oh my oh, god! I actually have a uh, I miss those bad a ranking things, system I'm... for them. Yeah, but those are great. What's the food like in Mexico? Anything special like that we don't got? Or... Um, so, like the go to isn't more so fast food, but it's like street food. So it's like just like either oh, ladies man. or like dudes that like show up in the morning and like the day before or in the morning, they made a bunch of tamales. And you just show up and you get some tamales or ladies that are like making tacos and it's like. I don't know, like two dollars or something for like four to like no, I think two dollars would be like eight tacos, and it's oh, crazy because they make like, the tortillas right there and it's like floppings and I don't know, it just goes and this probably has that it's like fire ass right crisp, crispness that only they can give you out there, man. That's what's fucking sucks about. But the one thing is like, uh, you know, out here the cities they do have a better job with because it's kind of like street food there as well. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously, you, yeah. can, you still see a line out the door at McDonald's in fucking anywhere in the city. But you gotta seek it out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's it is true. Like a good just, like food. Truck. It's like sheep, bro. Like, like literally, it's crazy. Like I worked in fast food before when I was like a young bull, and like it is insane that somebody will feed their kid fast food every single day. Like I'm like, that kid's gonna grow up and like only eat chicken nuggets and fries like they gotta eat some weird shit now you know that's just me yeah yeah yeah. no and it happens as well i remember i used to hang out with like um like some friends whose like parents would always be on that you know like every morning we're gonna get mcdonald's and i just thought they were the coolest for that i was like sick as hell 
Yeah. I know, and then you realize, <laughs> holy fuck, dude, they've eaten like hell of sodium every day. Yeah, 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 you can't judge what people eat, obviously, but I'm just <clears> I get <throat> nervous with shit like that. Like I be getting in my like scared mode. I'm like, oh my god, because you know, yeah, like, no, you, you I do, I, I've now heard that like your stomach has a lot to do with like your mood and your mental health or something. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it's just what I've heard. Your stomach has to do with what? Like your stomach biome, like say like you eat like a lot of like, you know, you know, bougie rich people food that only rich people can afford, like the nicest produce, the nicest everything, you know, scientific made this and that. Your fucking yeah. moods are going to be better than if you only like shove hella carbs and fries and stuff in your body yeah, or something. from what I hear, it's like your gut biome is equal to like your mental biome. And, yeah. Like, the- chemicals balance out your body is a temple you know that's a great way to think of it i guess but yeah i believe that i that mean that's shit, how man. you feel yeah, so instantaneously after eating <laughs> it's like instant you're just like wow like my pores are generating like grease right now i'm just <laughs> i'm like melting yeah as a degenerate though i don't even give a fuck let's get this party started baby we do what we do and we drink fucking on some real shit, later, on baby some fuck it baby america baby <clears throat> But uh, Amen. what's your dream place to live? Like, if you didn't have your spot, you know, if you didn't have your scene, like, say you had a billion dollars or whatever, where would you go? At the moment, I think um, Puerto uh, um, in Oaxaca. It's like just a beach city in Oaxaca. It's pretty cool. Um, but I don't know. I just like throughout life, I just want to just kind of uh, just kind of skip around places and like, oh, I'm living in, I don't know. You know, you need an RC. Yeah, just- yeah, yeah, I, I used to be doing that for a while. I was living in my car for like a few like weeks, what was and then that like, like and, yo. um, <clears throat> at seventeen, I was like positive because it was like when Vine was going on, and I was like seeing like teenagers living the like American lifestyle and like high school and stuff, and I was like, yo, that shit's cool, you know. My <clears throat> my mom is American, my dad's Mexican, so I was like, I think I can go over there. I had a friend on Xbox Live who was like, yo, you know, you can chill at my crib and uh, finish high school um, here if your mom lets you. And I was trying to do that shit since I was like 14, but at 17, she was like, all right. And I did so that. And then. In the States, like, cause you, so obviously, I guess your mom's in the States <clears throat> and your dad's in Mexico. So that's kind of sick. Um, she let yeah, you do I was that, in Mexico. Though, that's cool. Then my homie lived in South Carolina. Oh, okay, okay. So it was roll. Never mind. I had it mixed up in my brain. My see, like I said, my brain is so small. But okay, so you ended up making the change. What was that week like? Were you stressing? Um, <clears throat> low key. I don't know. It was one of those like moments where like manifestation had never been like more apparent. Like it just every day you just met people that were like just telling you crazy shit that somehow made sense to like I don't know. Uh, your life. Yeah, when the universe tries to tell you something cool. explicit, it's like I'm gonna oh send you God, random messages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the Earth really tells you. Yeah, you yeah, know. no, really. Um, but it was cool. I don't know when I was like just traveling through like states and stuff and seeing things. Utah was beautiful. Utah is ridiculous. That everyone's like, "Yo, Utah is garbage," because uh, like, no, nah, most states are. It fire. goes hard. The thing is, it's the people that live there that fuck it up. Like Rhode Island, yeah. is beautiful, but those people fucking mean fucking dicks and fucking drama queens yeah like, my only thing though if, if we if i have to travel again it has to be with people i was doing that shit on my lonely and that shit is boring because you don't even like I don't... Travel by but the thing is the thing is i prefer traveling by myself because when you have to travel with somebody it's fun but it's also annoying as fuck sometimes it's like you that's gotta, true you gotta coddle to some two things needs like for me i like just being like Ooh, I can just play whatever podcast I want, loud as a fuck, not give a fuck about shit, play some music, put all my windows down, and be like, ah, because sometimes I just tweak on the road. Like, I love fucking with people, because, you know, you're bored. Like like you said, you're bored as hell, you're traveling by, you're lonely. It's like, all right, I see somebody on the street, I haven't talked in, like, two hours, I'm just going to roll my window down and say, vote for me, motherfucker, and just keep driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes my counterpoint to that... 
is that you should do the exact same thing with the other just annoy them you know just don't consider their well-being that much like you if they're to trying to good sleep people. We'll yeah, try you have to have we've good kind people. of determined like we prefer to travel together as opposed to with our friends because when we travel with our friends and we feel like we have to like coddle their needs like you said but like together like he will do that and not give a fuck if i'm in the car and i'll just be like all right nah it depends <laughs> like Obviously, it depends, it depends it on depends, what, like you yeah. said, if you're traveling across America. Yeah, yeah being yeah, alone is so much more. More people. I probably would want my friends because you get bored way quicker if you're traveling yeah. from Jersey all the way to fucking Cali. Like that's like, was it three days or something? Uh, I think I don't know. Four days at the most. I've never done it, so. <laughs> I think it's actually this is a week. Jersey to Cali in I four days. I think it's a week, actually. I'm tripping. Yeah, it sounds like a week. If you sleep, I think it's like a week. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, four days sounds like you're just going, like, fast as hell. some Addies and shit, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like driving with a person is nice unless the other person is sleeping the whole time you drive because then you're, like, driving alone, basically. So it's like you guys don't see each other for, like, the entire time you're driving because you're both asleep. It's like, uh, by the time you get there, you're both tired as fuck. This has been a good one, yeah. We've got 30 already. I gotta hurry up. Hold up, hold up. For the algorithm. Let's get the bangers. I got one more for you, and then I got my the final question we always ask. So that's two. Okay. But this one is this one is a, is fun. I have to know. What is your YouTube algorithm like right now? If I if you open up your YouTube, what the hell are you gonna see? Oh man, it's garbage. Um, nah, come on. everybody, yo, everybody gets so insecure when I ask this question. Yo, this is like no, a it's bigger horrible, invasion of dude. space than anything. It's horrible. I would never want to show my. Okay, algorithm. so when, when I fall asleep, I've been like just picking videos based on longness because it's like it's kind of calming to fall asleep to listen to some dude talk about nothing in the background. So it started with some videos of a guy who was like doing reviews on iCarly, and he just speaks about iCarly for like five hours. <laughs> Holy and you're just like, holy shit, you know? So I would play that, and that would lead to just other just pipelines of just random, weird, just long videos. There's this one guy who has, like, a Sonic um, something, but he also reviews, like, old cartoons or, like, old video games and, like, nostalgia oh, wow. stuff. I love stuff like that. Yeah, just, like, strange reviews. Sometimes it's, like... um like an old series from your childhood that you never really finished and you like your inner child was like damn what happened at the end you know and you got like a full break mine is freaking uh it's a bit so that's one of the things there's also like hot wings uh stuff google foods just because i'd be hungry and on youtube i have Um, my analog journal they're djs they're cool DJs, okay, okay. So you got music, got the the long form uh essay type yeah. beat. We got some the real story of Ali Lottie, the rise of Juice World's malevolent queen. We love I don't it. know what that's gonna... like Patrick CC type beat. Like yeah, I, I get videos like that. <laughs> I watch them. I ain't gonna lie. I be bored at work and I watch them. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But at the same time, my favorite videos are definitely just like. I have, like, my underground YouTubers that I love that just do crazy stuff, like Airsoft Fatty and people like that. Like, I just... And I, I do watch... You gotta put me on. I used to watch, like, After. essays, like, video essay type B a lot, but it, it, it the, the format gets stale. Like, it's like, I don't need to know about the Same. sound effect f- from Roblox, like, in no, a deep that way. That is a good video, though. That is a good video, but it, for example, you know, like... I love iceberg videos at work. I I, I'm a Twitch Andy, iceberg. though, through and through. I watch live streams. <laughs> iceberg videos are hard, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I watch live streams about. all the time. <laughs> I watch them live, bro. I love catching yeah, some live crazy... Shit at work I've seen fun. crazy shit live. Real, I've seen Steve Aoki dick. Facts. He put his dick on Twitch, bro. I saw that live, and, like... I can say that now. Like I'm like, yo, I've seen Steve Aoki's dick, because this cameraman took an L... His cameraman, what? his cameraman, like, All right, he's about to change. I'll put the camera down. Puts it right on his dick, like, and he just sees it. <laughs> it was like, yo, that dude is definitely fired. <laughs> that dude's job. Wow. It's like, well, that was on Instagram? No, no Twitch. Twitch. Oh, Twitch. Twitch is crazy, dog. Right now, what's yeah. been going on on Twitch is hilarious. That thing with uh, um, Atrock and that whole friend group of dudes. Oh, my God, dude. If you beat oh, this, my God. Yeah, what the low heck? Key, it's like I can't understand how you can beat your dick to AI. Like I get, I don't even. I mean, I guess it's like hentai. That's what Rose was telling me. It's like hentai. I was trying to break it down logically. But why like, would you pay? Like it's free at the end of the day. Like that's the one thing I have to say is like 
You tripping, bro? Really that was what was so weirdos. irritating for everyone was like his proximity to. Uh, like some I of get the okay, I get you yeah. fucking ad blah 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 blah, but the fact that you yeah, just yeah. Really bust it out, researching AI. you bust out the credit card. That's from like yeah. okay, well, that dog, shit's on you your fucking tripping? Like, like you was hornier than a fuck, bro. Like, and it has your boy's girlfriend. Like that's kind of crazy, but. And I didn't know that it's not that big of a fuck Alex up. Like, I don't think I he like, should be canceled. Like, it's not th- like he didn't. He ain't no a- Andrew Callahan. Like, yeah, it's not like he was like trying to do some fuck shit to them personally. Like at this way. point, with all this cancel shit, it's like I get to a point where it's like, bro, everybody is clearly gonna make a mistake in their life. I just there's levels to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just levels. Like, bro, if Gio- Joey Diaz isn't canceled, then no one. <laughs> yeah, if you can't cancel like, Joey Diaz, you can't cancel nobody, bro. Like, People getting canceled in the start was more like, uh, oh, this person's actually doing horrible things. Like, you yeah, know? it was like Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, yeah. like real, yeah, exactly. genuine yeah. tweakers. Like, 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 and now it's like, yeah, this dude talks to the bits like, I want to fuck. And it's like, no, this dude, this dude, I don't, think, I don't even think that Atriox is getting canceled. I just think that it was just super embarrassing, dude. I mean, his yeah, sub count says was, otherwise, bro. His sub count was. The real shit, that was just like, just. Jeez, dude! It's not even that like people are mad. Been, I wouldn't have even like horrible. like the fact he brought his wife on there too. Like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, that was. Weird. You got your wife crying because you <laughs> oh, jerked shit. off to deep fake porn, bro. <gasps> no, a million dollar art piece <laughs> on the ground. Oh uh, my god! But yeah, like, nah, Twitch is crazy. I love keeping up with the drama. I'm a drama queen. You know, I sit on I sit on my uh my uh chair of perfection behind my computer screen where I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I just say what I want, but over here like, oh, look at the people. Yeah. To end off on a on a on a crazier, even crazier note, we always ask the guests before we get off, what was the scariest moment of your entire life? Uh, I don't know. I don't, like I don't know. I react like a dumbass in those types of situations. Uh, recently, I was like, okay, so I have a friend who I was taking his mom, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, his mom was paying me to be an Uber driver for her exorcisms. So she performs exorcisms on people. Whoa, sick as fuck. And well, I kind of fuck with that lady. Yelling and shit. And, um, anyways, one of these days, my friend, that guy, he was like, um, you know, my mom wants me to go over here to this place, you know, and we can pick up some, some weed at the place. I was like, cool. You know, whatever. We go. Sketchy place. It's just like kind of resort-ish. you know. You're like, all right, the uh, you know, the uh, what, what, you know, like she's putting some real, de- you know, demons away. So you know, her weed's got to probably be some some God's good gift. You know what I'm saying? Some of that good good. Really? Um. So we parked the car, and he's like, "Okay, dude, do you know where we are at?" And I'm like, "I don't know, dude. It's just like some trap house beside here. I guess we're at a, a trap house." And he's like, "Nah, dude, underneath you." Is an underground laboratory, and I'm like, what the? F- what? Is- no, bro. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, come on, come on. And so we got out the car, and I'm just kind of curious. I'm just a dumbass, and I'm just like, all right, you know, let's see what's up. And I was like, I'm not really gonna go into this cave because he's calling it the cave. You know, he's like the cave where the laboratory is, and I'm like, <laughs> he's like, emphasis like, laboratory. <laughs> Yeah, y'all got a cave in a lab. Like that's a, that's pretty good for a trap house. I don't know. Yeah, that's so, for sure. Yeah, so I go there. There's a bunch of dudes just kind of chilling there. They're talking about the, the boss. They call him like hippie or something. I don't know. And my friend is like waiting for hippie and like, like oh, I don't know. He's not gonna come. And I'm just kind of like, dog. The vibes here are awful. I kind of want to leave. And he's like, wait, no, no, I'll be right back. <laughs> You know, I have a awful. You smoke a blunt and you're like, yo, there's a cave laboratory five feet away from me. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah I was like, not... I don't know. I'm just then Mr. Beast comes out like, yo, you need ten thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, my homie leaves me, hippie shows up, and he's like, Oh, you bust me, my homie's friend, you know. Um, he told me about you. And I was like, Why the fuck did he tell me him about me, right? So he's like, come on, let's go into the cave. And I'm like, shit, you know. I didn't want to go into the cave. But yeah, now there's just like, it seems like so, like it's organized people that are like, yeah. 
And I don't know, I just went down there and I just kind of like shot the shit with the dude. We smoked weed and like talked about philosophy. But it was telling me about like just some that he was like doing there that he had done recently. He's like, yeah, man, I had to kill somebody, bro. That shit sucked. And I was like, that shit sounds horrible, dog. Like, He's like smoking and, next to a gasoline tank in a lab. Like, just yeah, so close. It was like, so they called it a lab. They were just growing weed underground and also had like a little bar section. They also had like this sword. It was like a sword that had like this hilt with a dragon. And he's like, we used this sword to poke at like these crystals under the cave. And that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yo. They've Anyways, over so my so friends was like, yeah, I guess, my, yeah, you know, hearing somebody say that they killed somebody to you definitely probably is pretty scary. Especially when it's you're like, smoking a blunt I've, with them. I've been in that situation like two or three times, and it's like, well, you just, I guess, a different breed, bro. Like, you just kind of feel like they're just a different breed, so it's like, fuck it. You know? Yeah, you're just like, damn, that sucks, dog. But nah, um, that's a real eye opener. You're in a trap house, you're in the middle of a cave, and all of a sudden you're just like, Stories, yeah man and you're just like okay this is not the place for me <laughs> yeah i just i been with that guy and then my homie came back and he was like all right dude let's go and i was like thank you <laughs> and as we left we got back to my homie's house and he had stole the fucking sword so like this sword oh this guy was like God. you know at that point, sword at that point wait, the fear wait, wait, doubled wait, 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 wait. How the fuck did he steal a sword? Like, did he, just, like, shove it in his pants? That's what, I don't know. I have, like, you know, I was just kind of leaving. I don't know. I was just in the midst of it. But then just said, oh, bro, check this out. He robbed a trap house? That's, like, rule number one, bro. Oh, my God. No reason at all. A sword? Of all things? Really, of all the things. Oh God, Their yeah. weed must have hit super diff. But, yeah. Alas, bro. You still here? You still fair, I don't think I was that dude much anymore. Um, that was kind of one of the last times. I was like, I don't know, bro. You're kind of like different. <laughs> well, at the same time, that person, that person gave you stories. You know what I'm saying? You've seen things that most humans don't ever get to see. So, and with that, I think that's a good way to end. You can always see the the positive in anything. Life is good in this fucking earth right now, and we can't wait to see you blossom into a a mainstream memester. Although, hey, I appreciate it. Um, don't switch up, know, right? No corporate means. Things coming. You don't know how I act. Um, I might just not do anything. I'm um, playing. Um, no, it was really cool being on the podcast. You guys are. Um, it was really awesome working with you guys. Buy that merch if you can. It's it's uh it's yeah, nice. they're still available. Uh, on our uh, link in our all my shit. So. Man, screw that. We're gonna get a new design, yo, and it's gonna I be mean, even yeah, better. Yeah, but right? limited edition, bitch. Get them while you still can. Nah, nah, nah. No, I'll just take them off the market so that they become get them millions. Before I they're take it down. And then that way we got we both got a bag. We good. Hey, right. let's go. Let's go. Um, so, real quick, right. real quick. I just want to say, check out that painting right there. I was looking Damn. at that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be posting it soon. Um, okay. just want to build hype on it. I'm just trying to build hype on that painting right there. That Damn. one, that one. I'm taking a hype look at those blacks. Those are some nice black paints, bro. Because I know black paint is like hard to get right. Like that's always the hardest color, or one of the. I mean, obviously, but that's some good. Yeah, that was shit. interesting. Been working on it for like eight months and just every now and then just adding stuff no probably more than a year actually no it's be been as hell. i'd be so like scared i'd forget my initial idea did you or for did, real? You, did you forget hmm? any of the initial idea or did you kind of just like keep going um yeah no i went over the initial idea like a bunch of times okay, yeah okay, okay. Yeah, it's just kind of Fire. been existing yeah yeah Dang, look at y'all. Look at y'all Void Basement crew. Click the links below, you know, and you can see beautiful things like that in your feed. All right? And that's all we do it for, people. The hey, appreciate it, yo. Thank you for coming <laughs> on, and yo. Yeah.